Hey everybody, how are you guys doing? I hope y'all are doing okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get some reading done. The first one is about a wetland habitat. And then the second one is about two cats living together. So I think it'll be fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and we'll get started. What is this animal right here? What is this animal? It is a alligator or a crocodile. Do you see a bird? Where's the bird? Right here. There's the bird. What is a habitat? A habitat is a place in nature. Plants live in habitats. Animals live in habitats too. Some animals make homes in habitats. Living and non-living things. There are living things in habitats. Plants and animals are living things. There are also non-living things in habitats. Rocks, water, and dirt are non-living things. Can you give me an example of something that is not living? The ones that this mentioned are rocks, water, and dirt. But there's also air, sunlight. A house is not a living thing. Can you point to the bird? Here we have a bird. Here we go. Everything they need. Plants and animals need certain things to stay alive. They need air, water, and food. Animals find everything they need in their habitats. This kingfisher right here found an insect to eat in its habitat. Staying alive. This capybara lives in a habitat. It finds everything it needs to stay alive in its habitat. The capybara needs water in its habitat. It swims in the water. Interesting. Can you point to what you think the capybara is? This is the capybara. It is the world's largest rodent. They're pretty big. I've never seen one in person, but I know they are pretty large. What is a wetland? A wetland is a habitat. A wetland is land that is covered with water. Some wetlands are covered with water all year. Other wetlands are covered with water only part of the year. Wetlands called marshes. This book is about marshes. Marshes are a kind of wetland. Many plants and animals live in marshes. This snapping turtle lives in a marsh. Can you point to the snapping turtle? Here's the snapping turtle. They're big. You don't want to get too close to these. They got big old sharp chompers.
marshes are covered with water all year. They're along the edges of lakes, rivers, and ponds. These baby ducks find food in a marsh. Can you help me count the baby ducks? I can start right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many ducks? There are six ducks. A freshwater marsh. Some marshes have salt water. Salt water has a lot of salt in it. Only marshes, other marshes have fresh water. Fresh water has only a little salt. This book is about freshwater marshes. This deer is drinking water from a freshwater marsh. Can you point to the deer? There he is. How can we tell that it is a boy deer? We can tell that it's a boy deer because his antlers are right here. Boy deer have antlers. They can get really, really big. Marsh weather. Most marshes are in parts of the world that have four seasons. The seasons are spring, summer, autumn, and winter. The weather is different during each season. In spring, the weather is warm. In summer, the weather is hot. Do you know what another word for autumn is? What's another word for autumn? Fall. Cold winters. The weather in a marsh becomes chilly during autumn. The weather gets cold in winter. In winter, there is snow and ice in a marsh. The water in this marsh is frozen. What season is it in this picture? What season is it? It's winter. Marsh plants. Many kinds of plants grow in marshes. Burr reeds and cattails grow in water. They grow along the edges of marshes. The water is shallow near the edges of marshes. Water plants. Some marsh plants grow in the middle of marshes. These water lilies are growing in the middle of a marsh. They have large green leaves. The leaves float on top of the water. Can you point to a purple flower? There are several. There's one right here, one right here, one right here, and here, and there. Plants make food. Living things need food to stay alive. Plants make their own food. They make food using sunlight, air, and water. Making food from sunlight, air, and water is called photosynthesis. Parts for making food. A plant gets sunlight through its leaves. It also gets air through its leaves. A plant gets water through its roots. A plant uses sunlight, air, and water to make food. What are some things a plant needs to make food? What are some things a plant needs to make food? Sunlight, air, and water. Can you point to the sunshine? There's the sun. Marsh animals. 
A crawfish can breathe underwater. A duck's feathers are waterproof. Waterproof feathers stay, stay dry in water. A newt is a good swimmer. It moves its tail from side to side to swim. Many animals live in marshes. The animals on these pages are marsh animals. Marsh animals have bodies that are suited to their marsh habitats. A water strider can walk on the top of water. This heron uses its long beak to catch food to eat. This snail finds plenty of plants to eat in a marsh. And a raccoon uses its paws to pick up food and put it into its mouth. Very smart raccoon. Living in water. Some marsh animals live only in water. They find food in water. This fish lives in water. It has body parts called fins. It uses its fins to swim. Can you point to one of the fish's fins? These are fins. Here's one, the back tail fin, and the top fin, dorsal fin. I think it's called a dorsal. This animal is a tadpole. A tadpole is a baby frog. A tadpole lives in water. It is a good swimmer. It eats plants that are in the water. What is a tadpole? What is a tadpole? It's a baby frog. On the edges. Many marsh animals spend time on the edges of marshes. They go into the water to swim. They also look for food in the water. This muskrat, right here, sort of hard to see, goes into the water to find food. Food in the water. The water at the edge of a marsh is shallow. This spoonbill is standing in the shallow water. It grabs small fish from the water using its long beak. Can you point to the thing that you think is the spoonbill? If it's getting something out of the water with its long beak, where is the spoonbill? Sounds like it's a bird, right? So here is the spoon bill. And what color does it look like its feathers are? It almost looks like a flamingo, right? What color is it? What color is it? There, it's pink and a little bit of red. Really cool looking bird. Blending in. It is hard to see some marsh animals. This rabbit has brown fur. The reeds and grasses around the rabbit are also brown. The rabbit blends in with the reeds and grasses. Other animals may find it hard to see the rabbit in its marsh habitat. Good to be green. This frog is green. The lily pads around the frog are also green. The frog blends in with the green lily pads. Other animals may have trouble seeing the green frog when it sits on a lily pad. Do you know what that's called? It's a big word for animals to be able to blend in to their surroundings. It's called camouflage. Can you try to say that with me? Camouflage. It's a really big word, I understand. We could also try to say camo. That's an abbreviation for the word camouflage. Camo. Finding food. There is plenty of food in marshes. Some animals eat only plants. Animals that eat plants are called herbivores. Beavers are herbivores. They eat bark and other plant parts eating other animals. 
other marsh animals are carnivores. Carnivores eat other animals. This alligator is a carnivore. It eats fish, turtles, and snakes. Omnivores, some marsh animals are omnivores. Omnivores eat both plants and animals. A skunk is an omnivore. It eats grass, leaves, insects, and fish. Whoa. Can you point to the skunk? There's the skunk. Remember, skunks are, they're black and white. They have two white stripes going down their back and one black stripe. And they're stinky. You want to try to stay away from those. It's not, not good to be near a skunk. How many animals do you see in this picture all together? First you try and then we can count together. How many animals do you see? One, two, three. I see three animals. Getting energy. All living things need energy. They need energy to grow and to move. Energy comes from the sun. Plants get energy from the sun. Animals cannot get energy from the sun. They get energy by eating other living things. A tadpole is a herbivore. It gets energy by eating plants in water. Ooh, eating for energy. Carnivores get energy by eating other animals. A northern water snake is a carnivore. It gets energy by eating tadpoles. Oh no. So that's cool. The sun shines down on a plant and gives it energy. The plant is consumed by the tadpole, which gives the tadpole energy. And then the tadpole is consumed by the snake, which gives the snake energy. So that's pretty cool. That's what we call a food chain. A food chain, it starts with the sun at the very bottom and at the very top of this one, as far as we know, is the big snake. Making homes. Some marsh birds make homes called nests. In spring, these birds lay eggs in their nests. Baby birds hatch from the eggs. They are called chicks. The chicks live in the nests. They're, these hairier chicks are safe in their nest. An otter in the water. This otter made its home inside a hole. The otter's home is called a den. The den is at the side of a marsh. The otter is coming out of his den. Interesting. Can you point to the otter? There's the otter in the water. All right. Way to go. Thank you for participating so well. I am gonna go ahead. I'm just gonna go straight over to this red cat, blue cat book. I already feel myself getting tongue tied, so bear with me, please. Red cat, blue cat. Red cat and blue cat lived in the same house. Blue cat stayed upstairs. Red cat stayed downstairs. Whenever they saw each other, hiss, meow, scratch, 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 scratch. It was not good, not good at all. But neither cat knew about the other's secret wish. Red cat wished he were as smart as blue cat. And blue cat wanted to be as fast and bouncy like red cat. So they fought and they hissed and they wished all day long. 
do you know what that's called when when you want to be the way that someone else is or if you, you sort of you get upset when you think about how the other person is a way that you aren't that's sort of a strange question it's called jealousy at least in this circumstance because it seems like they are they're acting not so nice because they're jealous of the other things that the other cat is able to do and what it has. Not good, not good stuff. One day, Blue Cat had a good idea. If I turn myself red, I'll become fast and bouncy, he said. So he ate a crab, some cherries, a watermelon, strawberries, and rose petals. Guess who was spying on him the whole time? Who do you think was spying on Blue Cat? Who knows? I think it was Red Cat. I will show Blue Cat who's smart, said Red Cat. He ate blueberries, bluebells, a blue fish, blue pudding, and certain cupcakes. <laughs> Just the ones with blue on them, right? How many blue cupcakes do you see? This is hard. So I see a lot of blue, I see a lot of cupcakes, but I only see a few blue. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five blue cupcakes. I see five blue cupcakes. It did not work at all. Blue cat stayed blue and red cat stayed red. And both cats were a bit sad and a bit angry. Can you point to the blue cat? Oh, there he is. Oh, and here's a lily pad, just like in the reading we just did. Do you remember what sits on lily pads and blends in? What sort of animal sits on a lily pad to blend it? A frog, right? A green frog blends into a green lily pad. I will try something different, de declared Blue Cat. Look at me, I'm red, he said. So he tried on some blue clothes, or some red clothes, I guess. Red Cat came up with his own plan. If I roll in this blue paint, I will become a blue cat. Woo. Tip splatter. Oh, what did he make? Spilled all that paint. What did he make? A mess, right? He made a big mess. Ew. Red Cat went to show Blue Cat his brand new cell. I'm blue too, said Red Cat. I'm a red cat, said Blue Cat. Grr, hiss. Stumble, tumble, wumble, wump. Still jealous. It had not worked, not at all. Are you trying to be like me, asked Blue Cat. Maybe, said Red Cat, but I am too sticky. And I'm too hot, Blue Cat admitted. Both cats helped each other become unread and not blue. Red Cat helped Blue Cat take off his red clothes. Blue Cat washed Red Cat's hard to clean paint spots. But they were not done yet. Not even close. Tug, pull, rub a scrub. Here's what you need to do to be exactly like me, said Blue Cat. He showed Red Cat how to come up with smart ideas. What are they in right here? They're getting a bunch of food, so what are they doing? They're in the refrigerator. They're in the refrigerator. Don't you want to be like me, asked Red Cat? Well, maybe, said Blue Cat, just a little bit. Boing, 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 boing. Follow me, said Red Cat. Red Cat showed Blue Cat how to run fast and jump high. What are these in the sky right here? What are these things in the sky? They're flying with their wings, flap, flap, flapping in the breeze. They're birds. 
Can you count the birds with me? I see one, two, three, four, five, six. Each worked hard, very hard, to be exactly like the other. But something was not quite right. I think I like being Red Cat best, Red Cat admitted. I can't run as fast as you, said Blue Cat, but I am the best Blue Cat ever. They were still Blue Cat and Red Cat, but something had changed. What do you think? Red Cat and Blue Cat were friends. They did all sorts of fast, bouncy, and clever things together. So that means they're not jealous of each other anymore. And if they are, they've learned to embrace the positive aspects of themselves as opposed to being jealous of someone else. Then one day, they spotted Yellow Cat. Meow, 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 meow. Can you sing? asked Red Cat. Should we be yellow? asked Blue Cat. Meow, 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 meow. Here we go again. What are they trying to do? They want to be able to sing. They're jealous of Yellow Cat. They didn't learn. So they're trying to become yellow. Silly, silly boys. Or, or girls. Well, I don't know. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Y'all did a great job participating. Thank you for watching my video. I hope y'all have a great rest of your day, okay? Bye-bye. Make sure you drink some water. It's really hot outside. Drink some water. Have a good one. Bye, guys.